Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to show you how to make uh, KBAD using OpenCV and uh, Python. Uh, let's see how it looks like. like this. So you see the numbers here. It's like this. So let's jump to the code. First of all, we download the libraries. Install and download the libraries. OpenCV NumPy and the PIL as I said before Tkinter Tkinter like uh, comes with Python first we initialize the TK uh, second we make the frame to hold the whole uh, labels and uh, tracking bars and second thing we make uh, two combo box one for the <clears throat> one for this red lines okay change them okay and one to change the tracking here I am tracking the blue color. Okay. Uh, second, we have the tracking bars because I have here like if I want to track a new color. And just ch change the values of the track bars. After that, I will hit print to print them here. Okay. <clears throat> After that, we have the label. This is the button for printing to print the values of the tracking, the tracking bars. In the case of uh, scale, when we choose scale, okay. <clears throat> uh, three levels we have this clean it's uh, for the clean button like after, after we have this number like here if I want to clean them clear done so this is the function for cleaning the text and this is the button for cleaning the test text uh, sorry uh, then we have this two PIL to display the the frames the video frame on the uh, on the foot of the Kinter. then to these two these two functions these two functions is to make this lines beautiful shape. Yeah, these two functions just for that. Okay, then we have these two functions. Okay. For these lines, for these lines, okay, to draw these lines on the video frame. One, two, draws the columns. <coughs> then 
then we have this. It's, uh, I called it choric, but in fact, we do the processing of choosing the numbers. If you see here, that column number one, one four seven, and the uh, hash. If you see here. If you notice that, like uh, when the OpenCV track the color, the numbers will show up. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, it will hide. The numbers will hide. Okay. So the first column, we have one four seven hash. The second one, two five eight zero. The third one, three six nine, and star. And uh, so on. Oh, here is the processing of choosing the number. I have call and rows to pick up the coordinates of these squares, these places. So, mm -hmm. the calls columns begins from 100 from x coordinate and 70 from y coordinate and so on okay and uh, in this function in this uh, for loop we jump like every time we jump one 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 index like 100 to 200 300 400 1 2 3 4 okay uh, it's it's like it's here uh, from 1 to 6 this is the rows the rows jump 70 and the calls jump 100 <coughs> So this is to pick up the first row, the numbers in the first in the first column. Okay. With the coordinate call zero. Call zero one hundred. So it's it, it's uh, bigger than one hundred and little than two hundred. And if y is bigger than seventy, bigger than seventy and less than 140 so uh -huh. this one okay and so on for the uh, we have the counter here because without this counter Without the counter, like if we move the the blue color here, if we move it like this. If we don't have counter, it will print everything. It will print everything. We we will not be able to jump from one square to another square. Like if you see here. So that's why we need the counter. You can change the speed of counting uh, as you like, but uh, in my case, 30 is the best value for that. So if we have like three columns, one, two, three, we have three, four loops for every columns. And uh, <coughs> here is the trick. I said if uh, <coughs> the text box, the text that will be shown here, is 1698, print open. In fact, in fact, we can do anything for, uh, in, from here. Do anything if the number has been entered. So if we got this number or any number, then we can change this to any, any value. And we can send this 
command to Arduino, like to open door or to uh, to turn on uh, LED or anything from here. Let's see how. It's one six nine eight. So one six nine see open this is the command so open <clears throat> after that we display display everything here is I'm using the combo box here to change the colors that I will, I would like to track okay <clears throat> and this is the level level yeah this level right here my red it will change to track a red color blue blue color this one so the columns, the rows, and this tips is to detect the the contours. So if you found the controlling controls, what the area, and we give this area from the tracking bar right here, area. Uh, Stylish rig, rectangle, and show rig this big function. Okay, uh, this level is to, to show this uh, y and x uh, coordinate to show the x and y coordinates, the position of x and y, and uh, uh, at the end, we display the three frames in here. Two, three. One, two, the, 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 the biggest one is 500 by 500. The second one is RGB. So this one is uh, 200 by 200, 200, uh, 200 uh, 160, and 200, 160. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something useful. Uh, thank you everyone and see you next time.